name is Agbato Adebola. I am the head of Operation B Spice Agro Engineering Company. And today we'll be beginning a video series. And on this video series, I will be discussing on different feed fish ingredients. That is all the ingredients we used in making fish feeds from the GNC maize to every other ingredient that you need to know that you don't know that you can include in your fish feed. So this series is going to be weekly and in each I'll be dropping a video, one video in a week and I'll be addressing different ingredients and after this I will now give you a very sweet and good formulation that will enhance your fish to grow faster in a shorter period. Feed that will give you a very good FCR and also feed that will be good for people that are really into processing of fish to have a very good quality fish after processing. So please follow this video as I'll be dropping them weekly and I call this video feed formulation series video. Feed formulation series video. That is fish feed formulation series video. So this is the first video, this is the first series, this is the first video of this series. So please sit down, listen, take your jotter and learn. As a fish farmer, it is very imperative that we know that feeding takes about 70% of the total cost of production. So definitely all we need to know about this business is the feed production. That is what we need to know. Aside the fact that you've mastered your normal uh, routine management, water management, everything is set. The thing that you need to now focus on is the feed. Because this is where the bulk of your money goes into. So please sit down, listen to me and I hope at the end of this series, we all can become a good fish feed formulator you know you don't have to wait until uh, someone give you a feed, uh, a feed a formula you can easily formulate your own feed by yourself you know you don't have to go to feed me to form you can formulate the, the feed then you go to the feed me with your own formulation and it will produce that for you and also in this video i also let you know how you can identify good and quality products because sometimes it's not even about knowing how to formulate it's knowing how to source good ingredients how to source good and quality feed ingredients it can be a very good formulator but you might be sourcing a very fake no not very fake so good but a fake ingredient and with that definitely your fish is not going to grow you know buying some other ingredients that has been adulterated you know how can you really identify the good ones in the market so this video will cover everything that you need to know about this thank you mm. So on today's episode, I'll be talking on GNC. We all know GNC. Well, some people don't really know it. We we're talking on GNC. So GNC is granite cake. GNC is granite cake. How is it made? Granite cake is made from granite. It's made from granite. The granite is defatted. Defatted means it has been oil has been extracted from the granite. So the remaining is what we have as the cake. You know, after oil has been removed from granite, we used um, my, uh, the machine used for doing this is the oil expeller. You know, it's very expensive, so we hardly have good companies. We don't have more companies in Nigeria that really produces quality GNC. So once the oil has been removed from the granite, the leftover is what is called GNC. This is very good. It's a very good source of protein for uh, fish. Some people even use it for their poultry. So it's a very good fish feed uh, ingredient, a very good protein source. Animal, plant protein, not animal. It's plant protein because it's from granite. So it's a plant protein. That is protein gotten from a plant source. So it's a very good protein source for your fish. It is highly palatable. It has about 40 to 45% crude protein. That is the amount of good protein present in that particular feed ingredient. So in this case, we are talking about the GNC. So the amount of crude protein present in GNC is 40 to 45. Some people even, some people are now arguing 48. But from what my own analysis, I've noticed that most of the GNC produced in Nigeria has about has between the range of 40 to 45 percent crude protein. Here it's at about 9 percent fat. Ita extract is fat or oil, you know, so that I don't understand. One thing about GNC extraction is that 
you cannot completely remove the oil it cannot be removed 100 percent so we still have little left in it you know we still have little left so most times after i've done my own um, analysis i've noticed that it's always between nine and ten percent the oil present in gsc that we use in nigeria presently as amount good the quality ones or not the fake ones or the quality ones are about nine to ten percent good um ether extract that is fat and oil so um i want to talk about the palatability palatability of these ingredients it is highly palatable very good for your fish very very good for fish it's highly palatable it helps to increase the palatability of the food it smells great fish feed feed fish feed that has a lot of gs in it, it smells so great has a very good yellow, uh, brown to yellow color not dark but brown to yellow color and i can assure you that if you are using gs in your feed then you should be very assured of accept very sure of asset acceptability of such feeds because i can categorically tell you because i've been in this business for about 10 to 15 years now so i can categorically tell you the importance of gsc and also if you are into production of um floating feed if you are using an extruder you know we sell extruder so we should <laughs> so if you are using an extruder then it's also a good binder so people always call me ah be spice are they of be spice are they of be spice please um in your formulation we can't find a binder a good binder we need so people say we need a uh, flower to bind your feet or no I tell, see you don't need all those things to bind your feet let me tell you there's a calculated amount of gnc that you can put in your feed that will epic that will help you to bind and have a very good floating fish feet you know i think i should even talk about how um, flotability works as in how flotability occurs in use it occurs in a fish feed production that is how you can achieve flotability using an extruder to produce fish feeds i will still talk about that so go back, coming back to our topic for today gnc so now one of the one of the disadvantage of gnc is that it it has low amount of essential amino acids it has it has low amount of essential amino acid and also when we talk about the amino acid profile it lacks some essential ones that is why most times if you are using more of gnc then you need to uh, you need to concretize or you need to add more of lysine and methionine to your feed this is because gnc does not have enough lysine and methionine to support fish growth that is what the fish requires gnc alone cannot give it out to them what the lysine and the methionine that the fish requires in the feed gnc alone cannot give it so that's why most times we supplement our feed by adding more uh, lysine and more methionine to it so this is one of the disadvantages of um, gnc is the amino acid profile is not as perfect as the counterpart which is soya you know so soya cannot be replaced completely so gsc is just if it, it, um, what gsc does is that it helps to reduce cost so imagine if you are buying soya now soya is soya package of soya is around 330 to 350 naira package and gsc is around 260 you know using full soya using full soya uh, all through your feed formulation it might increase the cost of the production so imagine if you are using 100% want to use you, you need 100% soya you understand to be to to make up to for a particular uh, good protein so imagine now that you are spending 100 times 350 that let's say times 5000 but because you want to supplement gnc it helps you to reduce a little bit of it helps to reduce cost it helps to reduce a little bit of a little bit of money that you have spent on the excess of a um, um so yeah okay let me rephrase this what i'm trying to explain basically is that using gnc helps to save cost because it's one of the cheapest protein source that you can get one of the cheapest plant protein source that you can get compared to soya and then berry seed you know so let me quickly say this again that gnc also have good gnc is also a good source of vitamin b vitamin e and vitamin k you know they are very if you really need this in your feed then gnc should be present in your feed it's a very good source for it you know so people experience broken head disease you know sometimes as a result of lack of of some vitamins 
So if you are using GNC, then you should be assured that at least you are having some amount of uh, vitamins needed by your fish. So also GNC, GNC, GNC. <laughs> so let me quickly show you one of. Let me quickly tell you the difference. Oh no, no, not the difference. Let me quickly tell you how to recognize a good GNC and a bad GNC. Look at this. I have two samples here, so I'm going to show you categorically and let you all be judge. I think with this now you can easily identify a good GNC and a bad GNC. So this is one of the GNC I have here with me. This is one of the GNC I have here with me, and this is another one. This is another one. Can you see clearly? Can you see this clearly? Can you see this clearly? So we have the lighter one and we have the darker one. So the lighter your GNC, the better it is. So once you are having a very bright color of GNC, that you know you are getting a quality GNC. But once it's dark, some, some are even darker than this. So once you are having a dark, a very dark GNC, that it shows you that it has been adulterated or it's not, it's not neatly done the whole is not neatly extracted from it so this kind of gnc will give you problem why producing a floating fish feed or it will not make your energy to protein ratio in your feed balanced therefore your fish will not eat the the needed amount of protein to grow because there's a lot of energy there because oil fat and oil oil or granite oil or palm oil it has about three times the energy of maize do you know that oil has about three times the energy of maize so imagine if you are using a gnc with a lot of oil content in it then you should be assured that the energy of your feed will be increased so you will say ah my feed did not eat my fish did not eat plenty food they are not eating very well today it's because the feed has high energy most people don't know this yeah, my fish is not growing. I'm producing my feed by myself, but my fish are not growing. I think I should go and buy a laqua. I should go and buy this particular fish, you know? It's because you don't understand things like this. These are the basic things that we need to understand about fish feed production. And not everybody will be telling you this truth. You know, I'm an expert in this. So that's why I've been able to deduce that sometimes using the wrong GNC makes you to produce a feed that is not, that has high energy content. So we should put this into um, into consideration and also when you are buying your GNC, look out for the color. Look out for the color, you understand? So if you don't know where to source for your good GNC, yes, this is where we come to play. This is where we are. We, we pride ourselves in this. That we, we pride ourselves by saying that we can supply you quality GNC. We have them in bulk. We have them in bulk and our current price as at of today september 9 2021 our price is 275 naira per kg so if you are buying more than a ton then yeah yeah there's discount for you you understand so i'm going to explain a lot that you need to know about gnc so if you have any question any suggestion any addition subtraction we are open to that and please 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 if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our youtube channel help us grow please <laughs> subscribe to our youtube channel you know turn on the notification turn on the notification button so when we drop this video because i'll be dropping this video every week I, i'm not saying i don't know the day of the week because i'm always i'm very busy you know fabrication takes time takes my energy takes a lot of thinking so anytime i'm free but i will make sure that in every week i try to drop a video addressing this issue that i've started so please 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 share this video among yourself fish farmers i really want us to make profit this year so please please share these videos and please subscribe comment and if you need formulations make send comments on that there and i will really give you free fish feed formulation that will help your fish to grow but make sure you comment share our video and like thank you so much i still remember your humble friend at Bato Adebola, head of operation peace price agro engineering company thank you so much thank you god bless